Hey there guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to get Slender the Arrival on your Mac. Uh, this is just going to be how to take the Windows beta, which is the only beta that's been released so far, and just play this on your Mac. So, uh, just to start, you guys are going to have to buy the game, and I would definitely buy it right now. Uh, if you guys can see here, it's 50% off. It's a $10 game when it comes out, but it's going to be $5 until the release date, so you guys should definitely get that now. So it's a much cheaper price because it's it's an awesome game and they're going to add a lot more to it. It's going to be a lot more than that first game. So yeah, just come to the website here. Uh, if you see here, the release date is coming March 20, uh, 26, and the Mac will, version will come out a little bit after that. So uh, let's get started here. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is come to uh, Wineskin here. You want to look up Wineskin Winery on Google. It should take you to this page here. This is the top link on the thing. Uh, and if, as you see here, it works on snow leopard, lion, and mountain lions. So we just click downloads here, and yeah, click here to download. I already have it, so I'm not going to do this step. Uh, I'm just going to skip right to the next step, which is you've downloaded it, you've unzipped it, and you have it on your desktop open. Okay. So what you should have is you should have your Wineskin Winery uh, zip file here. I just dragged that out of my downloads folder. Uh, you know, just down here, you can search it up in your spotlight either. Uh, and then you unzip that and you open it up here. So before you start getting this set up, just uh, you know, make sure you have your copy of Slender, uh, the beta on .exe. And uh, so you're going to see this little menu right here. And you guys aren't going to have anything here. I just have this one engine right here because for when I install the game. So what you do is you're going to hit Add New, go to, um, yep, this is the newest one right here. So it's the WS9 Wine. 1.5.23 AMD speed hack. So you click on that, uh, just download and install, uh, and then that should get you this right here. Uh, the next step is going to be uh, clicking update down here by the wrapper version. Uh, yours should be, it should say this here, but it's going to have update, and if this create new blank wrapper will not be clickable, like if you see the update right here, it's not, it's like, you know, it's faded into the back. I can't actually click that even if I try. And uh, so once you update the game, that should just take or update Wineskin Winery. That should only take a few seconds, well, a minute or so. And then you go over here to create new blank wrapper. So from here, you just name your wrapper. So I guess Slender, uh, Slender, the a rival beta. Hit OK. If you get something popping up saying, "Do you want to uh, the application Wineskin X11 to accept incoming network connections?" Hit allow because it will install some things onto your computer. Um, as you go through here, it uh, it might install something called uh, Gecko or Greco. I'm not sure. Uh, just maybe like the pizza place. I don't know. And uh, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, I did that when I set it up. And uh, yeah, so this should pop up right here. You're gonna go click on View Wrapper in Finder. Your Finder window should open up right here. And uh, this is when you can do. Uh, you don't really, you might see this .exe file or .tar here. You don't need to worry about this. Uh, this will be, I'm not sure where this folder will be, but you just need to get this Slender the Arrival, the actual skin, out. I drag it onto your desktop or wherever you have your other files located. Get this out of the way, over with the rest of that junk. So you're going to put this down here, your Slender.exe. So you open up your uh, Slender the Arrival beta file, and you're going to get something like this, a little wine skin menu. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is hit set screen options and check or uncheck decorate windows. So uncheck that, don't touch anything else. Uh, so the next step is going to advanced here, uh, third one down, and going to install software. You're going to choose your setup executable and go to wherever you put that. So mine's on my desktop and this is just the copy of the beta for Slender uh, that you downloaded earlier. Uh, sometimes it won't work after you download it once, so you might have to download it again after you install all of these things on your computer. Uh, the great thing about this is that it won't make you restart your computer, Wine just does it all. So you should get a little menu like this, and this is just the Slender, this is the .exe file that you downloaded, which is the installer uh, for the game. And notice that some of the text right here is not uh, visible, and you'll see a little bit more of that later on, but you don't need to worry about that. So just click Next. Uh, this is just the terms and conditions, you know, I agree, uh, next again. So now you get to pick where you want the game to actually be saved. Uh, I'm just going to leave it where it is right now. 
app. Where this is, is this will probably just show up in one of your uh, app folders or just on your computer. If you want to find it, just go to Spotlight and search it up. Or uh, for the next step, it does say create a desktop icon, but I would not do that because it just puts a bunch of random files in your desktop and none of them actually really work. Uh, you're still going to have that the slider of the arrival beta on your desktop and that's what you need to just click on to get the file to run. So after you're done through that, you just click install and it will install the software. So now that you've done installing the software, I would check launch slender the arrival beta and click finish. Uh, you don't need to bother with view readme or visit the product website. And I think you have to launch Slender right away because if you don't, then you got to click on the app and it won't be set up properly because you do get a prompt after you're done launching the game that will let you pick where that executable is and you have to do that step. Otherwise, that executable on your desktop will not work. So as you can see, uh, this is the game here. Uh, it does look a little bit laggy and the game is laggy. Uh, if you've watched my other video on Slender, uh, you can see that it is like either uh, my computer was running fine, I had screen flow, uh, tons of like Google Chrome running in the background, Pixelator, so other apps were going, and I did turn a few of them off, but it's still just laggy. Uh, I think that's just because it's running through one and it's the beta, so maybe as they release an actual beta for the Mac, which will be closer to the launch, uh, if they do have one, then uh, yeah, that's uh, that'll fix that up, and then the game will be a little bit more playable. Although, don't worry guys, the frame rate isn't that bad. So, we're almost done here guys. Uh, this is going to be the second last step, and you're going to get this window right here. Um, it's, 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 this is, again, like before the text is gone, these buttons are remaining on them. So what you do here is, that's the accept, and this is the quit, but this is actually the, uh, the point where you put in your uh, the key you got when you bought the game. So, uh, the only tricky thing here is that uh, normally you press, well I guess, for starters, you want to go and you want to select the whole beta key and do command C, uh, whether that's in your mail or on the website, copy that over. But then the uh, the next part is a little bit different. You have to hit, actually hit control V instead of command V to paste it here just because uh, it's running through the wide scan. After that, you can just hit accept here and it'll take you to the menu of the game and you can play uh, as much as you want. So after that, you can just click right here and it'll start the rest of the game. So this is the last step you're going to have to do. Um, if you have played the game, uh, which I just showed you guys how to set it up, after you put in your product key, you can play a game, you know, check it out, see how it runs on your computer. But then you're going to have to come here and you're going to have to, well this should just pop up. You will see that there is this, uh, I guess you can't see it here, but uh, maybe in the background. No, it didn't show up, but it should say wineskin running in the background the whole time that you're playing or anything like that if you do play it in that minimized window. and then. When you go to this, you're going to want to click on this and select uh, program files slash blue Isle studio slash slender the arrival beta slash slender the arrival exe. And this could be different, the uh, program files, that, that directory for it. But after the blue uh, uh, Isle studio, it's all the same. Really, you just want to look for the slender uh, dash the arrival dot exe. Click on that, press OK. Now that your uh, startup file is selected, uh, the, si the software is completely installed and you can just click on this desktop uh, icon or you can drag it onto your dock and play the game whenever you want. So thanks for watching guys, this is my first tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe and check out the rest of my channel for some great gaming videos.